First off, I don't think it looks as bad in the viewfinder as it does in real life. How, uh, who knows how the camera is actually going to pick it up, but I'm trying to make friends with bronzer and it is not working so far. Um, I think I'm just like too pale for most bronzer colors and I, I'm hesitant to buy one when I have some that are in palettes already, even though the ones in the palettes don't really work for my skin. But anyway, that is not what this is about. I thought that it would be fun to um, give you a peek into what is in my backup drawers. So um, yeah, let's um, rummage through my backup drawers and see what I have way too much of. Okay, I do not have a great way to set this up, so I'm sort of balancing the camera on two legs so that I can get a decent angle here. These are my makeup drawers. Okay, I've moved my drawers out because I think this is just going to be a little bit easier. And let me... I'm not even sure how to frame this well. <laughs> First, along this side, I have lots of primers. I do have mostly everything sort of in the order that they were purchased-ish, um, just so that I can make sure to use what need, you know, first in, first out, make sure I use what needs to be used first. I have some Ulta Wet n Wild, like actually a lot of Wet n Wild primers, um, Cover FX ColourPop, some Smashbox, and I have one sample of First Light. I have this No More Needles No More No More Baggage from Dr. Brandt. It is like an under eye depuffing gel sort of under eye primer kind of situation. This is not cruelty free. I did receive it in BoxyCharm though so um, I don't have another product like this aside from the one that I'm using right now so that I am going to go ahead and keep it and use it so I don't have to spend the money on a another one at the moment. I also only have one eyeshadow primer other than what I'm using at the moment and this is a small size of the Urban Decay Primer Potion Original. So down here these two guys are sort of um, color corrector under eye brightener sort of situations. Um, this is technically a highlighting stick from ColourPop when they made these, but um, they're, it's just like a concealer, brightening concealer color. So I use these under my eyes when my under eye circles are not bad enough to require a full on concealer. I have a, I have a shimmery one too that I'm using at the moment. Um, so that one's not in this drawer. And um, over here I have a ColourPop So Juicy Gloss, it's their plumping gloss, along with a Grande Lips Gloss. See, I put these with my Ulta and ColourPop lipstick primers because these are more like priming products to me, that's more so how I use them. And here I have um, my complexion products. I have mostly switched over to using concealers, um, however... Um, I do have some foundations that were just too intriguing for me to pass up trying to use. So um, I've got a Wet n Wild foundation, my ColourPop concealer, ColourPop foundation, Ulta concealer, Wet n Wild stick foundation, the new Ulta concealer, um, ColourPop stick foundation and this weird BB cream thing from Wet n Wild. All along the left side I have um, just regular face powders. So I have the Wet n Wild pressed, the ColourPop loose and pressed, the Pretty Vulgar loose powder, and the newer Photo Focus powder. And in the front here I have finishing powders and things like that. Um, I do have a palette back here that actually needs to go there. Okay. So um, I, will, I keep my palettes that have finishing powders and things in them right here because I typically won't use the rest of what's in the palette unless I'm also using the finishing powder. So this little triple Kevin Aquan thing, it needs to go up front here. 
Then I have the Bare Minerals Translucent Powder Duo, the ELF Ambient Palette, which I think might be called something else now, and the uh, Too Faced Selfie Powders, which I'm pretty sure doesn't exist anymore, and the Ulta HD Setting Powder, which I thought I purchased the under eye setting powder, but I guess I got sent the wrong thing because I did not, did not buy this. Anyway, next I have contouring products and palettes and kits and things. Um, this is the uh, Making Faces book from Kevin Aquan. There's lots more than contouring in here, obviously, but again, this is one of those things where I would probably most likely use much more often if I were using the entire thing. So before I put that in, and I'm gonna, before I forget, um, the Pure Sculpting Palette as well. I've got the NYX um, Contour and Highlight Duo. This is the newer one. And I've the, the newer NYX Blush in Taupe. I have already panned and emptied the older version, which I kind of like the older version better. I like the formula and the tone of it better. Um, I have the Contour Book Volume 2 from Kevin O'Quan. I really like the look of Volume 3 and really would like to try and get my hands on it. And I have the older version of the Highlight and Contour Palette from NYX as well. In this little hole right here, I have all of my eyebrow products, which I think I'm gonna move to the center. This is I am um, ColourPop Pomade product in Dope Taupe. These are both clear brow gels, um, one from ColourPop, one from Anastasia. This is a brow product from Chella. It is also a pomade, but it's sort of in the end of the stick and the other end there's a brush. Don't like the format of it, but the product itself is really nice. And I have three colored brown mascaras here. And that is my second backup drawer. All right, and this is my last backup drawer, which is quite crazy. Let me see if I can get a better look at some of these items here. On this side, I have um, eyeliners, which I only use a neutral colored eyeliner like one at a time, so I never really have a lot of them out, but I have so many of them that I've received over time that I've either picked out or received in boxes or because um, I had Boxy Charm all year last year. Um, I've received some in palettes as gifts and things like that. So um, I've also sort of ordered these in the um, le uh, most to least recent so that I know which one needs to be used next. Um, so this is the new ColourPop one. I have a couple from Quo that came. Um, my friend for, brought me a nice giant Quo palette from Canada. This Jante Bleu came in a boxy charm, as did this Butter Linden weird pizza cutter type of eyeliner, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep or not. Brown gel liner from Bang Beauty. A, another Jaunta Blue and a pretty vulgar gel liner that um, all of these came from BoxyCharm as well as this Vintage Cosmetics black liner. Um, like I have a Schwing liner here which I was just really excited to try out. Um, I have a few mini Marc Jacobs liners to go through and a Urban Decay liner. And on the right side, I have tons and tons of mascara. Um, same thing, most of these have come from BoxyCharm. This is a Smashbox super fan. Some of them came from other places. I don't know. Um, Butter London Double Decker. Again, I only use one mascara at a time. I only open one at a time. Um, Perversion, the Unlashed from Wander Beauty, It Cosmetics, Stila, and ColourPop. 
and squeezed in this little space here I have some basic lip liners these are um, I, I only use like one neutral shade lip liner at a time so I have um, ColourPop BFF 1 and 2 which both work pretty decently on my lips I have a bodyography liner that came in a boxy charm and an urban decay and hiding on the side here i have a nyx wonder pencil i have something similar from cargo that i'm using right now um, i used to use it in my waterline a lot but now i rarely do and mostly just use it to clean up my lip line instead i have some setting sprays back here i actually need to take one out because I um, just finished up a setting spray today. And over here I have foundation mixers. Most of these are white mixers, but I have a few that are um, illuminating mixers as well. There's one that's out that I'm using right now. This is an illuminating concealer, like a highlighting concealer from, for, for, from LA Girl. Um, it looks plain white, but it's really just a luminous highlight cream. And I have my ColourPop Liquid Highlight in Rose Quartz in here because it does not work well on top of foundation for me, so I thought it would be a nice foundation mixer. Everything else are is white mixers. And that is all. Those are all of my backup drawers. I'm sorry for this weird angle. Hopefully I can figure something out a little bit better as far as the angle goes when I do similar videos to this in the future. But yeah, there you go. Um, hopefully this was, I don't know, fun, maybe? As you can tell, most of my backup stuff are just very much staples, things that I only use one of at a time, and things that I do go through on a frequent basis. So yeah, that is everything. Um, let me know what you have too much of in your backup drawers and what you have not enough of. Um, I have too many complexion products and not enough setting sprays. I only have actually, once I pull this one out, I only have three left and I go through setting spray way fast. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and it means a lot to me. And that is all I've got for you today. Thank you again. Until next time.